Wow, Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Your birthday season is in two months. You know, you got some time to prep for it. And also we're gonna be fully like inside by then, like literally. <laughs> what's going on with you? There's been a lot of happening in your sign over these past couple years, right? Past few years, Pluto's been there for a while, but the other two, Jupiter and Saturn are there and they have been letting us have it. And we're about to have a, the last Jupiter and Saturn conjunction in Capricorn for a while, soon, in December, I think. Wow. All right, let's see. Last one, make it good for Cap. Ooh, Capricorn, it's all about the work, right? You know, I'm gonna go and read after this, so I'm doing, what, 12 readings here, and then I'm gonna go and do another whatever kind, however many at work. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. The Six of Wands, and we have the King of Cups, and we have the Princess of Cups. So I'm gonna start with the Six of Wands because that's kind of like where we are right right now, and the King of Cups has influenced where we are right now, and the Six of Wands is gonna determine how we get into this Princess of Cups energy for the third week of November. So, hmm, we're here, we're there, we're everywhere. So this King of Cups kind of like influenced the transitional energy from the second into the third week of there. So we're thinking of Scorpio. We're thinking of the focus of Scorpio season, Scorpio energy, Scorpio new moon. We're thinking of that conjunction, right? And of the moon and the sun. So I think, is it a, it's not an eclipse or anything like that. That's probably happening later. Uh, that's probably like Gemini Sash type of thing. And we're dealing with those nodes as well. I'm sorry, I digress. The Six of Wands is being noticed for something, being seen for something, right? Because it's Leo and it's Jupiter and Leo. So there's a lot of attention being brought to you. There's a growth of something. Maybe people are starting to, to understand who you are and what your purpose is. You know, they're starting to see where you're going with this. You know what I mean, uh, Capricorn? And there's like, um, you're, 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 you're like on this, you know, you're riding on this horse of wisdom, okay? You're trotting along, you're taking risks, you're going into new territory, right? You're feeling very encouraged, deeply encouraged in this new environment that you're in. Transformative, right? I feel like there's a sense of, um, Emotional satisfaction that just came from taking a risk and making a decision that was going to be very definitive and one that was going to change your life in some kind of way, shape, or form, where it's changing an aspect of your life uh, for the for for long term, right? Because the King of Cups is is the, is king. It's like the most mature king or the most mature um, court card. So it does talk about time and it does talk about maturity and, and outgrowing something, right? The Princess of Cups is here and it's saying that you're looking for some emotional satisfaction because you're experiencing a change in like um, inspiration, right? You're inspired for change. It's almost like you're 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 yearning for it in some kind of way, or you were. So this change that you are experiencing is going to bring in like new sensations, right? You're seeing new new colors, you're seeing new faces, you're seeing new people. There's like um and you're highly sensitive to these changes that have occurred, right? So you just gotta be patient with yourself here with the Princess of Cups, right? Because it does say that you 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 were in your power by making a decision and a choice to do something that you desired, that you wanted, right? That it wasn't gonna necessarily stop, right? And then you went ahead and you did that, right? Or you're focusing on doing that, we're planning on doing that. And once we do that thing, we're gonna be in a new place of having new feelings, new emotions. Whoa, I'm becoming aware of how this change is really affecting me, right? This type of thing. You know, this is almost like a going uh, uh, puberty, right? 
post pubescent type of energy, right? Like I've now undergone this change and I'm seeing what it means for me. And it's just, you're seeing the world differently. So the Three of Cups is here. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is uh, Virgo, but also could be looked at as like the 10th house Earth, which is Capricorn. And then we could be looking at this Three of Cups energy as Cancer, or it's like third house energy uh, because it's three. Um, and then we have the Two of Swords here, which is second house energy because it's a two, but then it's Libra and it's a two and we're talking about balance. So you had to make a decision to bring more balance to a situation, right? It could have had something to do with travel here, definitely with the Ten of Pentacles, traveling for work, or the Three of Cups could have something to do with, you know, just feeling like you had more space, more freedom, right? Uh, and more freedom of expression, that type of thing. It would have been easier to get to these people, you know, like the Three of Cups is talking about that, right? Or making something more convenient. The Three of Cups wants to make a situation more convenient. Uh, it wants access to be a little bit easier, that type of thing. And the Two of Cups is just saying like, you, the, the, the decision was made or you will justify making this decision. This has to also do with how this decision may have like pulled you away from work, family, or friends in some kind of way. Um, you know, so you had to make you had to make a decision based on what your your needs were that you had to meet, right? In terms of like work and in terms of like you just having like flexibility, but also structure as well. So you had to provide yourself with flex flexibility and structure and that's how your decision was made, okay? Whatever that is, Capricorn. All right, like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. Follow me on Instagram. It's Providence Tarot there. And my personal account is NYC Kendrick. If you're following on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and comment because, you know, we got a conversation going on here. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.